Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. Rays of hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And there's just not a better place to find a ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Today we'll be in John's Gospel chapter 4 and we'll look at verse number 23 as a text verse of scripture. Now notice what the Bible says here. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. And friends, I pray that God would add his blessings to the reading of his holy and precious word on this beautiful day. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together, have an encounter with God and his precious word on this beautiful day. My goodness, friend, there's just not a better way to start a brand new day than good, fresh, hot coffee and a fresh word from God. Today, I want to bring to you a devotional thought that is titled, The Power of Worship. Friends, the late Christian pastor A.W. Tozer commented on what appeared to be the conspicuous absence of a vital spiritual ingredient. Despite the fervent and accurate exposition of Scripture, Tozer said that worship was the missing jewel of the evangelical church. Though we may call our Sunday meetings worship services, are we truly engaging in heartfelt praise and thanksgiving? Are the majesty and the glory of God truly the focus of our gatherings? The most noble and lofty act that you can engage in as a believer is to ponder the greatness and awesomeness of God and then proclaim his splendor both privately and publicly. Above your service commitment, good deeds, even leading others to him. God both commands and delights in your hearty, in your sincere, and in your humble adoration. God must first, or God must be first and foremost to you because when he is on the throne of your heart, all else, the service, the evangelism, and godly character will flow from you naturally. So consider, is worship the missing jewel in your life? If so, my friend, make Jesus the centerpiece of your devotion today. Think about that, and let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we pray that you will help us experience the power of true worship. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, I pray. Amen and amen. Well, friend, I pray the devotion's been a blessing to you today. And if it has, you be a blessing to someone else by sharing it with them. And remember, your life is the Bible film may read today, so let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. 
again. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.